Hello there, my name is Quentin Russell with Doc365 and today I'm going to be walking you through the process of building a basic wiki site in SharePoint Online. Now, you'll have to excuse the poor audio quality. This was taken from uh, the second part of our SharePoint basic series, uh, Understanding Web Parts. Uh, there were some audio issues, however they will be rectified in the future. With that said, let's jump into what you need to do to start building a basic wiki in SharePoint Online. Alright, so here we are. This is a, this is a basic doc intranet out of the package, woohoo, look how pretty it is. Really, it is. Um, Fun fact, if you want to use Doc Intranet and if you like the way this looks, uh, you probably actually get this in your colors if you, you know, potentially want to work with Doc, um, with Doc 365 to get Doc Intranet for yourself. All you have to do is sign up for a free demo. It's just 30 minutes. Um, we'd love to have a conversation with you about this. Um, we'll, but we'll talk about that more about at the end of the webinar. So real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a more advanced wiki than what you're going to be then what we're going to be building today so immediately right here okay so mullen coughlin you know you have that branding right there so immediately you see okay so these are angular teams you know you probably don't need drive state these are important documents most recent documents you can really organize that how you want so you can say okay so this is all of the documents for angular js this is everything for the corporate internet microsoft sharepoint office 365 react all the things about sharepoint and now, multiple, sometimes you'll see that certain documents are appearing multiple times. Well, it's because they've been tagged with specific things. Um, and it's just how that's been structured, how Doc Intranet's wiki gets structured really depends on what you're doing and what you want. And we have a conversation with you about that. However, that's not what we're really here to talk about right now. So really quick. All right, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build a basic team site. Um, just real quick we're going to call this team wiki well that's a little loud that makes sense all right so already exists we'll call this team wiki bravo um so right there that's how it's going to look it's good to go you can add certain people to the site you know that's that do be how it is one second i am so sorry about that so finished site wiki's ready to go all right so first thing we're going to want to do is as this loads and everything we're going to want to go to click on the gear icon up here this is going whatever you're doing anything in sharepoint that's going to be the first thing you want to do um well not the first thing but it's generally the first thing so go to site contents um now we're going to want to go to the site pages library so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a little setup. Um, we're gonna build out metadata for our wiki. So what metadata is, is that's essentially how SharePoint categorizes, tags, you know, catalogs, all of your information within SharePoint. Um, every document has metadata. So right now, um, the metadata that's applied to the documents is, okay, so you have the home page. So click to that takes you to the home page woohoo great to go um but you'll see so this is metadata so this is the last person who modified it this is when it was modified this is when it was created so everything is good to go so here's what we're going to do we're going to add new um we're going to add new metadata so this is how the information is organized and sorted within this within the site pages library so we're going to do choice um because that allows you to really customize what you're doing and we're going to call this department because we're not making a specific wiki for a document um, for a department we're making a wiki for the whole organization so um you know you can describe it how you want type choice so we're going to call this admin we're going to call this hr we're going to call this marketing um, you know, we'll throw in sales just because to show you that you can add as many choices as you really want. Um, and then default value, you can say, okay, well, most of the documents I'm creating are for admin, so that'll show up. But 
Um, really, I only recommend doing that if you're if if everything within there is just going to be one of those choices, or if like 99% of the documents created with that are going to be in there. Um, however, that does also lead you to potentially get lazy with it, which I also don't recommend. It's really up to your choice. So, you know, right there. And as you can see, department shows up. So you can also organize it ascending. No, oh, because there is no department, you really can't sort it out. So then we're also going to add column and we're going to do date and time. Hi, good afternoon. This is, uh, sorry, good morning. This is Christian. Um, um, hey, we'd like to ask that everyone mute themselves for until a specific point in the webinar. We'll be doing a question and answer session at the end. Uh, and if you have any questions throughout that you're afraid you might forget, please put them in the chat and I will come to those at the end of the webinar. So back to the demonstration. So right now we'll call this one expiration date because you are going to have some documents that um, expire. This is specifically if you're using um, HR because um, generally you want to review your, if you're using a wiki site to store all of your um, HR policies and everything, you're going to want to, um, you know, you're going to want to probably review those about once or twice a year, maybe a little more than that, because things come up. But anyway, so we'll call this expiration, you know, date time, you can use calculated value, um, or you can do today's date, select time and date, none, it's really up to you. So now that we've done that, we have columns. You can add more as you want. Um, really, we'll talk um, a bit later, we'll talk about tips that you can use for categorizing and everything. But just one thing to say is that you should definitely think about what you're doing before you build it out. Don't just add metadata to add metadata. Um, otherwise, you risk things um, getting confused and ugh, it's a mess. So here's what we're gonna wanna do. We're gonna build out a wiki page. And what this is going to be is this is going to be a template page. All right, we're going to call this Team Wiki Bravo Page Template. So, great. Shouldn't take too long, yada, yada. There you go, right there. Um, what the heck this is? Okay, cool. So here is what you're gonna want to do. First thing changes what this is not at all what this should look like. I am so, I would like to apologize for this. What? Okay, this is this is fun. We are we are Okay, no. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go back, no. So we're gonna go back to the, so go back to here and then we're gonna wanna, I apologize for this, I did things out of order. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go back to site contents. And we're gonna go back to site pages. And then we're going to want to do new site page. Not wiki page, even though I'll tell you you might want to do that. So what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to go um for at least for the sake of this basic one, we're gonna go team wiki template. So now that you've done that, what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to add a specific web part to this. It's going to be the page properties web uh, web part. So what this does is it'll just, so now you wanna click add properties. So add property by department and then expiration. So that right there, that'll just tell you everything you need to know about that. Um, if you have specific metadata related to that, so it'll tell you, okay, this is a, you know, HR department, this is a, so click on that department. Mm -hmm. And then click here to, make this a one third, add another web part. So if you're doing a text web part, do that right there. If you're not quite sure what web parts are, we did a webinar last month on how to use web parts and everything. Um, I, if you'd like, I can send people a link to that at the end of the um, later today so that they can access that, watch that and everything. So now that that's done, you can be like, okay, um, that's the page, this is what we're doing, publish. 
Um, now you can have multiple templates that you use. We recommend that you have multiple templates. Um, that way everyone knows what they should be working from just to have the templates in general. And then also just making sure that, um, you know, you're do you, so if you have specific configurations that you're trying to do for specific information, um, you can just go to that template, pull it, use it, done. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to do a new copy of this page. Now we're gonna call this vacation policy. Um, so properties, we're gonna call this, uh, yeah, one second. So I don't know, no that one. Go, yep, nope, go here, go into page details, HR, can everyone please keep themselves muted for the duration of the webinar? You're not following him. It, it makes him a bit feel insecure. I had to go in and... Uh, Charles, can I ask that you mute your mic? Yeah, thank you. Okay, no problem. Sorry about that. Nope, you're all good. Um... So, yep, so you can set an expiration date for this specifically if you're doing this for HR. Um, we'll set this for December 31st, 20, uh, 2020. And go. So you'll see that's actually displaying right there. Um, and then you can type that out. So, you know, hey, these are paid time off, format that how you want. So, you know, like that, normal text, heading one, yada, yada. After you're done with that, um, publish the page, it's good to go. And it's actually going to, if we go back into site contents, it will actually show up within the site pages. Um, so you'll see right there, page template, vacation policy, and then you can sort by department and everything. Okay, so ascending, so HR, because that's the only one that actually has a tag to it. So then what we're gonna to wanna to do for, to really finish this off is we're gonna create, is we're gonna customize the hub page for this team site. So click edit right here. Um, do note that you have to have editing privileges in order to customize the team site itself. So you have to be an owner of the site. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna get rid of this news app and we're gonna add a new web part and it's gonna be for document library. And we're just gonna pick site pages and you'll see right there, got it. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna change this to wiki pages. Um, and then right there, you can see recent activities and then we're gonna get rid of this documents one. And then what you're gonna, and then so right here, we recommend using quick links. So these are links out to the most important parts of the, doc, of the library. So for example, say you want to put a link out to the employee handbook, um, you know, sticking with the HR policy one. So you have a link out to the employee handbook, you have a link out to the vacation policy, time off policy, you have a link out to, um, you know, behavior policies, dress code, that sort of thing. You can put these links right here so that people can have access to the specific documents that they're looking for right off the bat. So republish this. You've got a basic wiki right here. You can, um, so you can sort it by, you know, department. So descending, sort it by expiration. If you want to search for something, you can just search for something up here in the search bar. So we'll look for vacation policy. So it'll show up right there. Yep, vacation policy, you can search for it. It'll open the page, you're good to go. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to take this, we're going to copy this and we're gonna go back to our homepage because if you're wanting to integrate this into your inter um, intranet, what you wanna do is as your site owner, just go into here, click right here, call um, link. So, oh, I, yep, there we go, Team Site Bravo, um, Wiki Bravo. Save that, and it should update the page. You click on that, and it takes you to Team Wiki Bravo. 
Um, now you can do this, you can have a wiki set up for all of your departments, um, for so individual ones for individual departments, or you can do multiple ones for, or you can just have one central one and organize that. And that's how you build a basic wiki site in SharePoint Online. If you have any questions, please make sure to let us know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button so that you can be notified whenever we post a new SharePoint tutorial. Um, this has been Quentin with Doc365. Thank you so much and have a great day.